On a beautiful day, Sheba and Baki ran into each other on the street. It was evident that they were good friends, but Sheba had the urge to spar with his buddy. Without waiting for consent, Sheba lunged forward at a speed exceeding that of falling cigarette, only to be sent flying ten meters away by a single punch from Baki. He did this because his boss, Hanayama, demanded it. Sheba charged again but was swiftly defeated. When Baki returned home, Sheba still desired a fight and ended up receiving a light slap that brought him to the ground. Despite being inside the house, he sensed that Sheba hadn't given up. Sensing Baki's emergence, Sheba positioned himself for an attack, landing a punch that sent Baki flying far away. As Baki stepped out, he found himself under a continuous barrage of Sheba's assaults. In Sheba's eyes, Baki was always a colossal monster. He charged forward again and delivered a hook punch to Baki's jaw. The blow was rather weak, and Baki didn't evadi. Instead, he retaliated with a slap and a punch to the abdomen, causing Shibu to lose consciousness once more. Acknowledging Shiba's persistent resilience, before he could say anything this time, Baki landed a direct punch to Shiba's nose. Baki told he would fight in a style similar to Shiba's and make him give up. Shiba charged forward as usual, but this time Baki used his face to block. The bones in Shiba's hand shattered clumsily. Refusing to give up, Shiba lunged again and kicked Baki in the face. Shiba's determination was truly formidable. They decided that this would be their final offensive move. Shiba raised their hand, intending to attack Baki's eyes. Baki said, I'll charge at your two fingers. If you're quicker, I'll lose. Baki rushed forward at a terrifying speed. Shiba's intention was to feign poking, Baki's eyes and then punch him. However, Baki's swiftness led to Shiba's hand shattering. For the first time, Baki successfully employed a technique they had recently learned from cockroach species, 